Hey Sagittarius, this is Alex Angel and I'm here to bring you your love angel and tarot card reading. The reading is timeless, however, the, the video is being published in, in July of 2020. I hope you guys are doing really, really, really well. Um, to my existing subscribers, thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate it. And for those of you stopping by for the first time, thank you and welcome. I hope to see you in future videos. All right, guys, um, you have some powerful cards here on the table. You are represented here. You have Leo here. You have Scorpio here twice. So, Sag, what y'all got going on? Money. It's a little bit of everything on this table. So I do kind of feel like um, what I'm hearing intuitively is like, it's like one area of your life is going well, but then another area has bottomed out. So to an extent, it's almost like you guys are experiencing the full life cycle. You know, some things are good or half of the things in your life are good. And then half of the things in your life are bad. First card up is you got the sun and it's being paired with the five of pentacles, right? So it's almost like the five of pentacles for me too could also represent a ginormous bill or some a big payout that you had to uh, make. But I feel like it was, I think it's about to start raining. I think it's actually a good thing. So a lot of you say, for instance, could have made a hefty down payment onto um, you know, a house or a car or a business. Um, but now say for instance, it's gutted you, right? So I kind of feel like there was like a heavy financial investment, but it will, um, it will, um, it was for a good reason, right? You now have the Ace of Cups here with the Five of Wands, Five of Swords, um, excuse me. Yeah, Five of Swords, another five. It's like a good and bad combination, right? So it's almost like, yes, you, it was, um, you opened your heart. It was something that made you happy. It was something that brought you so much joy, but I do kind of feel like it, it, it was something say, for instance, that you had to do for yourself, or you could have been a sole benefactor, right? So it was almost like you might've, you know, finally moved yourself out or moved away. And, you know, it was wonderful for you as a wonderful move. But it kind of, you kind of feel bad, say, for instance, because some people may got may have gotten left in the dark, okay? With the death card, there is Scorpio and the Wheel of Fortune, right? With the, I kind of feel like this was necessary. It was karmic. You know, these two here are transitional cards. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is cycles, right? So something has ended and now we're moving into another Ooh, sorry. Angels just said it was two things. It was two transitions, right? So it was almost like as soon as you got over one, it was like, boom, here goes another one, right? And again, that makes sense to me because it's almost like for a lot of you, if you did move, it was almost like you left somebody behind or left something behind that might've been near and dear to your heart, but the move was positive, right? And not only that, but the move was necessary. This is my card of karma, right? This is my card of karma. And the death card, there is Scorpio, that's, that's um, life, death as well. So one thing had to come to an end, so a new thing can begin. That's kind of tragic within itself, because it's like, yay, Ooh, right? It's like the dual um, emotions. With the Hierophant, there is Taurus, and then you have the King of Wands, yeah. Um, of course, the Wands represent fire energy, which is Airy, Leo, Sagittarius, yourself. So I kind of feel like, yes, this is something that was ordained or something that required, um, you know, some sort of institutional or, you know, sage advice, maybe from a mentor, from a priest, from, you know, um, somebody who is even in that field who kind of gave you advice on what to do. Angels are also saying maybe even to an accountant or somebody who, you know, helped you during that process. Um, with the king of wands, this is saying to me that you guys fought. You fought like hell for this. You knew, angels are saying, you knew 
that it was rightfully, rightfully yours. It, it's what you deserved. It's absolutely what you wanted. I do kind of feel like also too, you had the approval or buy-in from a big institution. This can represent a bank as well, right? But you've worked your ass off for this side, side okay? I feel like you worked very hard towards this. So there's no, no need to feel guilty at all. Here's a wheel of fortune coming up again with the seven of cups, right? You might have tried this over and over and over and over and every time you crashed and burned, right? To the point where you wasn't even sure if you were going to do it again. But I kind of feel like, yes, there was some angelic or universal intervention that brought it back around with you. Of course, we're sitting right in the middle of a Mercury retrograde. So it could have been something, you know, that you played around with the idea before. You weren't necessarily sure if it was going to manifest or you would ever be here, right? And it wound up coming back around. And I feel like, you know how they say strike when the iron is hot, meaning divine timing, making your move, making your move at the right time. And you did. And there it is, right? With the Knight of Swords and then the Tower, right? I kind of feel like with the tower, it was almost like the universe says, okay, now Sagittarius, now. And you went in and you rushed in and you took advantage of whatever the opportunity was. This is supposed to be a love reading, but for you, Sag, for some reason, angels are pointing it or making it more of a general reading. Um, it just kind of looks like everything that's on the table in front of me has a lot to do with movement, right? Has a lot to do with movement. So for a lot of you guys, yeah, this absolutely could represent it. This could have represented you getting out and getting away from a, situ a situation that was absolutely in your best interest. Not only that, but I also kind of feel like for some of you guys, you tried, right? You tried to hang in there. You tried to do what's right. But it's almost like whatever this situation was, whomever this, you know, if this was a person, it's almost like they just kept showing you over and over, like, Dude, you know, um, I'm not interested in, in you and I. I'm only in this for myself. And they kept, you know, say, for instance, they kept making you feel less worthy or like you're out on an island by yourself. You know, the five of cup, uh, the five of pentacles also represents, you know, kind of being down and out. Right. And I just kind of feel like for what I'm hearing specifically People kept taking from you. They kept like uh, either underestimating you or every time you tried to save up something, here they come with their hands out or this pseudo emergency, right? Kind of um, depleting your funds. But you didn't let that stop you. You didn't let that stop you. You didn't let that bother you. I don't give a shit what was going to happen, Sag. You was going to get this done. And again, I feel like it was something that was absolutely near and dear to your heart. It was something that was near and dear to your heart. And what you did was kind of turn the tables. You turned the tables and them being selfish towards you, you went ahead and took a play, took a page of their playbook and you went, went into, you went into it for self and actually came out the victor. The universe rallied behind you and, and opened up a slot for you, right? It was almost like the death card is like a, my card of, um, it's a 180, like it's a complete uh, turnaround, right? And there again, you have the Wheel of Fortune. It was almost like the universe quickly just opened something up for you. You struck when, when it was the perfect timing. And again, not to repeat myself, but you made that shit work for you. And I ain't mad at you, Sag, because I just kind of feel like it was either you or them, and they kept choosing them. And you was just like, no, no, we're not doing this no more. I'm choosing me. And unfortunately, that means that I'm not choosing you. Okay? So now let's see, even though that was not really a love reading, let's see what um what the uh, Romance Angels has in store for you, Sag. And I don't know if my lights are going to go out because it is storming outside. Reconciliation. Summer from your past is returning in your life. Okay, I said Mercury's in retrograde, right? Anytime, anytime, ladies and gentlemen, that we are happy and doing good, here comes some raggedy ass person coming back to try to distract us and take away from our uh, good cheer. Also, at the same time, this person coming back from the past could represent 
either why you left them in the past, right? So they're just coming back as the same old person to, to so you can kick them back into the past or they can come back, you know, because something is unfinished and undone. The lesson hasn't been learned. The karma has not been closed out, okay? Playfulness to recapture your romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Please pat yourself on the back, um, Sag. Excuse me, okay? Whatever this achievement was, whatever this decision that it was, that you made just recently, please go ahead and um, give thanks to the universe and send that energy back out to help somebody else be blessed. But also at the same time, take some time to acknowledge, you know, the great fucking job that you did, okay? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So again, these people, now that you all, you done got in a good space and you done moved on and moved away, now again, here come the energy vampires to suck the life out of you and get put you back, in on, back on that dark side. So Sag, you have won the day. You did an amazing job. Give yourself credit. Do not feel bad, okay? Keep moving forward. Don't let nobody trip you up or, you know, kind of bring you back or put you back into that space and place that had you down and out or had you a uh, victim to somebody else's kind of um, neglectful abuse, okay? Hope that helps. If it does, if it resonates, you guys know what to do. Thank you. Love you. Bye.